One of the ways to empower women for development is through information and communication technologies, which increases the access to information in this digital age. But findings from a research by Uganda Women Network and the World Wide Web Foundation shows that Kampala City has the widest gender gap in internet access of 190%, followed by Nairobi at 185%. However, the Department of Women and Gender in the Ministry of Gender is planning to introduce a policy that will secure women's rights and security online. The first question always is, are you connected? This implies emigration from analog to digital information sharing. Recently, a peer-to-peer -peer ICT system for farmers was launched in Uganda to ensure access to information on market agricultural input information and weather pattern sharing free of charge via SMS. But a research carried out by Wugnet and World Wide Web Foundation shows that in Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Mozambique and Ghana, women's rights online are violated. A principal researcher, Moses Owan, says the gap results from extremely high internet costs which take about 10% of average monthly income of the Ugandan citizen as opposed to the affordability target. There's a lot of gender digital gap in this country. Women uh, are not uh, benefiting from the opportunities that ICTs present uh, compared to their male counterparts. There are a lot of issues to do with access, issues to do with literacy, in terms of the skills to use and apply those technologies, in terms of issues of digital safety and security. Uganda Women Network has started engaging policymakers on the 2015 Women Right Online report. Findings from local government on internet access in the districts of Apach, Busia, Tororo, Palis and Amuria reveal that there are extreme inequalities in digital empowerment. We want to ensure that we advocate and ensure that uh, the, the, the online barriers that women face in, 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 in Uganda, those few who are accessing the internet also stops. So far, the Department of Women and Gender in the Ministry of Gender is planning a policy for rights of vulnerable persons and their security online. We are looking at developing the relevant content that will include people with special needs, that would need uh, translation in local dialects, or even uh, sign language. We are looking at how to move them out of that stigma, out of that vulnerability. And when you look at the programs that the ministry develops, most of them are aimed at the empowerment component. World Wide Web Foundation is a research and advocacy initiative on women empowerment through the web. Aviona Francisco, UBC News.